All right, y'all. Good morning, YouTube. Let's talk about it. What we're going to talk about today is intermittent fasting. We're going to talk about keto a little bit. We're going to talk about different diets and why I don't do them, never done them, or no longer do them. Um, let's get the cat out the bag. Um, let's talk about the one I can talk about the most from um, personal experience. Um, I've been doing this fitness thing for about nine years. Um, ups and downs, ins and outs, um, you know, triumphs, fails, knowing what I'm doing, not knowing what I'm doing, finding out what to do, hands-on experience, in and out the gym, diet, exercise, all of that. So that's how I built the physique. Um, so let's talk about fasting, all right? A lot of people will ask me, why do I no longer fast? Do I still believe in fasting? Uh, let's talk about me fasting on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for the longest, uh, well, not a long time, about three, three and a half, maybe close to four years now. Um, and in the first beginning of my journey on YouTube, I was still in my fasting phase. I used to fast a lot. So if you want fasting information from me, uh, you got to watch my old videos. I still keep those videos up because... Uh, even though I no longer fast, I still believe that it has its benefits, and I still think I did well on it, and I teach how I did well on it. Back then, I was diehard fasting, you know what I'm saying? But I always remembered, I always knew that I still had to be in a caloric deficit. The biggest problem with a lot of people when they fast is they don't think they have to count their calories because they're fasting. They think the fasting is going to do the job for them. It's not the fasting that's to make you lose weight. It's the caloric deficit. And I always knew that, even when I was fasting. So good question would be, why were you fasting? Then in the first place, if you always knew that. I just felt at the time that it helped me better um, Either I was going to do the cook. I, I wanted to either do fasting or do what I do now, which is eat in volume. Um, I didn't want to eat in volume because uh, I wanted to eat the foods that I like. Fasting allowed me to eat even more flexible than I do now. Y'all know I eat flexible. If anybody been watching me, watch my mukbang videos, anything like that, y'all know I eat flexible, you know. But, um, uh, Eating in a little window, you know, whether it's the 16 hour, eight, um, eight hour window, um, whatever. Eating in a smaller window allowed me to hit my uh, calorie needs in a smaller window. But um, a lot of other people they, they 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 do fasting because of the insulin, um, keeping their insulin at base level as low as possible for the longest of the day. Let me tell you something about that, though. Your insulin is going to spike regardless of what you do. You can keep it at base level, but as soon as you eat, it's going to spike, and it's going to spike higher. The insulin thing is, you know, I get it. Your, your body stores more fat when it's, um, your insulin is high. Your body um, loses fat faster when your insulin is low. But... The, the, the benefits a lot of people are, are trying to get from fasting are so minute, you know what I'm saying, that it, it barely even matters if it matters. Just like the, the autophagy thing. Your body's going to, your body's going to, um, you're going to get autophagy results regardless if you're fasting or not, all right? So, also, there's pros and cons. This is what I'm talking about right here. It's pros and cons, all right? All right, let's talk about the uh, the human growth hormone and the, and the, and the testosterone and other things that spike when you're doing fasting. Okay, those help you build muscle and help you do this and help you do that, whatever. Um, okay, if you're doing it, if you're trying to build muscle and you're fasting, you think you're going to have higher testosterone. Okay, all of that testosterone means absolutely nothing without the the. Um, the combination of protein synthesis. Protein synthesis, your body, the protein is the building block of building muscle. Your muscles are protein. Muscle is protein, all right? If you're eating food and you're eating leaner cuts of meat, all right, let's say you're eating uh, lean cuts of ground beef, you're eating the muscle part. The fat is drained out on the leaner cuts of meat. So 
You're eating muscle. Think about it. Fat turns into fat faster than muscle turns into fat. All right, now I'm not saying don't have no fats in your diet. That's another thing on um, keto. Keto, they do high fat, uh, very low carb, moderate protein, right? All right, for instance, they, they, do, they do enough protein, but carbs don't make you fat, all right? A lot of people that lose a lot of weight on keto, they lose 10, 15, 20 pounds initially, and then they stop, and they wonder why. They wonder why because what you're losing is water, all right? Every gram of carb um, has the potential to make you hold on to three grams of water, all right? Got my water with me. Um, that's, we're gonna talk about water too. We're gonna talk about that in a minute too. I'm, I'm just trying to tell people like, you're focusing on the wrong things. You're focusing on the wrong things. Most people are. I'm not saying you, I don't know you. I don't know you personally at all. This is not an attack on you. If I'm attacking anything, I'm attacking your diet. Your diet, <laughs> I tell people in my old video, your diet sucks, all right? I'm trying to tell you, I'm not telling you to stop doing your diet. I'm not telling you, even if I, even if I don't like keto, I will not tell you to not do keto. You are the boss of you. Remember that. No matter what I say, you are the boss of you. All right? I can just tell you what it does. So a lot of people do keto and they lose a whole bunch of weight without counting their calories. I didn't count any calories. I lost weight. Um, losing water weight and losing body fat are two totally different things. All right? If you're trying to get lean, if you're trying to get abs, if you're trying to get cuts, if you're trying to lose arm fat, belly fat, which we're going to talk about that too. You cannot spot reduce fat. Your fat is going to come off where it comes off, and your problem areas are usually going to go last. Regardless of what you rub on your body, regardless of what, what, what somebody told you, some magic trick that, you know, weight loss in two weeks or, or abs in two weeks or, or mix this drink with that juice and mix this together and, and overnight your body will just start losing. That's all lies, all right? Those are all lies. If you've been doing anything and it haven't been working, I guarantee you, if you've been adhering to it, then people have lied to you, all right? People like to use the crutch of... Um, what works for you and what works for, we're human beings at the end of the day calories in calories out at the end of the day put calories in your body and the calories that don't burn the, the calories that you don't burn if you're eating too many calories for what you supposed to be eating the rest of the calories are going to get stored your body stores extra calories calories are energy your body stores that energy later on if for if it needs it if it's in a famine if you're starving what does it store it as adipose tissue what is adipose tissue body fat all right so everybody try to hit you with everything else everybody's focusing on everything else so you don't have to fast fasting is just for in my opinion if and this is this is another thing. I'm gonna talk. To, I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about water real quick because I said I was gonna talk about that. All right. A lot of people drinking a gallon, two gallons of water. This and then the third. They think just drinking a bunch of water is gonna make them lose body fat. It does not. If you lose anything, like I said with the keto thing, you're losing just water. It's gonna help you flush the extra water weight out. Now I know somebody gonna somebody that knows something. I'm not saying no, nobody know nothing, but somebody that think they're more, they're going to think they're better than me at this. I'm like, you know, no, 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 no. Results. I can show you mine. <laughs> you know, back in, yo, yo, hey, um, somebody's going to say, well, you lose, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, you're going to lose glycogen and water weight first, regardless of what diet you're on. You're going to lose glycogen, muscle glycogen, liver glycogen. Then you're going to start losing body fat. Then you're going to start losing muscle if you ain't careful, all right? It no not matter what diet you're on, you're going to lose some muscle. And if you want to lose a lot of weight, I would, I'm not going to edit this video, show you my before and after and all of that. I, I want this video to be a one shot, one kill, because I got things to do. I got to work this morning. But, uh... I don't feel like doing a bunch of editing and piecing the video together and this and that. No, I'm not doing that. All right. So y'all already seen those videos. Y'all already seen my results. Y'all already seen how much weight I lost and this and that and the third. I did that because I know what I'm doing. I did that because I didn't do what everybody else is doing. If you're doing what everybody else is doing, 
you're going to get the results that everybody else gets. We're in a country that, you know, no talking about nobody, but the statistics, we're, and I can't talk about nobody. I used to be overweight myself. I used to be almost 300 pounds. I was 275 in my highest, all right? That ain't almost 300. That's 25 pounds away from 300. To me, that sounds like almost 300, all right? So, <laughs> uh... The, the, the statistics of in America and most of the world, but mostly America, we're we're an overweight country, and then you know, and a lot of people are struggling to lose weight. A lot of people are doing all of the things that I'm speaking on not doing to try to lose weight, and it's not working. So, the definition of insanity is to keep trying to do the same thing and get different results. No, stop doing. If you've been doing something for years. And don't fly the flag for whatever you're trying to do. Because at the end of the day, if it's not working, switch it up. Counting your calories. A lot of people think that counting their calories doesn't work. Because they tried it before. I got plenty of videos. Let me recommend a few. Just type in. I don't even know the titles of the videos. But type in Rapid Time Fitness Calories. All right, And I got videos that will tell you why you are most likely eating more calories and I've proved it to a lot of people and they have started to get results after they start looking at what I was saying and let me tell you real quick you don't gotta watch the video go watch. I'm monetized now I don't not have to sell my videos anymore you watch them if you want to but let me recommend type in rapid time fitness calories and you will see videos like uh, why you're eating more calories than you think and things like you're under reporting calories because most people don't count everything. They don't count their sauces. They don't count their drinks. They don't count those things. At drinks, especially drinks, add up really fast. All right. If you're drinking high calorie drinks multiple times a day, you're probably drinking three thousand calories just in drinks. They count everything that goes in your body with calories in it counts, regardless if you're counting it or not. Your body is going to absorb that you know and anything a lot of people are eating a high calorie diet without exercising i eat high calories most of the time especially when i'm not dieting but even when i'm eating high calories i'm not eating as much as most of america you know uh, that's another thing i want to talk about dirty bulking you do not have to eat in in a surplus like a, a very high surplus just to build muscle you only need an extra 100 200 calories you know, then what your maintenance is. And I'm speaking for guys. For girls, it's going to be even less than that. You don't need that many calories. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you you starve yourself, and that's not healthy, and this and that a third. Find your maintenance calories. I got videos. Type in repetition. time. I'm not going to talk about that. I got to go to jail. Find your maintenance calories. And if you want to bulk, if you want to build muscle and, and, and put on size, go slightly above whatever, the, whatever those maintenance calories is. If you want to lose weight, go slightly under this is maintenance if you want to build muscle go slightly not a lot over slightly over those maintenance calories that way you won't get a lot of you won't build a lot of fat if you're in this zone you're going to build a lot of fat same thing with cutting this is maintenance go slightly under if you go way under a course yes you're going to lose weight faster but guess what you're going to lose i'm glad that you even found your maintenance calories and if you choose to go that way i'm glad you at least found your maintenance calories first Find your maintenance calories, go slightly under. Going slightly under will make you lose weight slower than, this is what slow and steady means. It will make you lose weight slower than jumping way down there, but you can sustain it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that go way down there, if they make it to whatever they're trying to get down to, they will usually lose muscle and they will be starving. Their body is begging for calories. So as soon as they get back to a regular eating they're gonna be up they're gonna go on a surplus and they're gonna gain that's why a lot of people lose weight and they gain it all back that is the exact reason you know i'm not gonna break down which diet does this and that no most people who gain most of their weight back or all of it and then some most people gain it all back and then some is because they're on diets that they're struggling on and, and they they might have had will they must have had some strong willpower to even get that far on a struggle diet because they they was able to starve that long to lose weight. It's coming back. I'm so almost every time I've seen somebody do diets, I tell them, "Yo, you're biting off more than you can chew." I've seen people 
trust me, I've been in the gym for nine years, so I've seen other people, even if I'm not even paying that much attention to them, you see them. And you see people that's been in there nine years and, and have not lost weight. That's because they're not listening. I'm sorry. They're not li I'm not dissing them because I don't know they I don't even know their names. But they're not listening. They go in the gym and they talk and they teach each other the wrong way. And some of them sound good, but they're not actually doing the things they're talking about. That's another thing I'm bring to this point. If you watch this video this long, don't just watch my videos, all right? I'm not saying do everything exactly the way I do it. I, like I said, I got videos back in the days I used to fast. So if you fast and you like Repetime Fitness information, feel free to watch my old videos. I don't even know if I monetize the video, so it ain't even it ain't even about money. The one thing I found out <laughs> when I got monetized, I was like, okay, my videos gonna have ads on them. I have to personally put it on there. You can hit the all button and, and monetize all your videos, but then you don't want to. To me, I don't want to do that because I got videos that I don't want monetized. Because at the same time, I mean, you monetize the wrong video, you can end up. I think you can end up getting in trouble or something. I don't know the whole guidelines, so at the end of the day, I read through it. So. You know, I forget things and I probably skipped a few things. So I think it's my best bet to monetize the ones that I really think, you know, if it's just the money, you just want the money. Yeah, monetize all your videos if you want to and then you end up getting in trouble. But uh, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I think I left out a few things. Uh, if I did, if I, if <sighs> this video off the top of the head, so if I did leave out something, I touched on something and then got off of the subject, you know what I'm saying? I no longer fast because, oh, I think I did. Protein synthesis, did I say this? I'm gonna say it again if I didn't, I don't remember. Protein synthesis occurs four or five times a day. So if you're trying to build muscle and you're not um, eating protein three, four or five times a day, you're not optimizing your muscle building abilities. Now, I'm not saying you cannot build muscle on, um, I say keto you can build muscle on keto too you got to be in a surplus um, of a little bit of calorie regardless of what diet you want to do counting your calories is the most important thing I don't give a crap what nobody say it's always gonna be people to say that and this and that and the third don't listen to them I ain't, I'm not gonna say don't listen to them but always analyze and I'm sorry judge books by its cover I'm gonna say it at the end of the day, if somebody's trying to tell you how to do something and they don't look the part, if they can't, if they're trying to tell you how to get a six pack and they ain't got one, that's probably not who you should listen to to get a six pack. If they're trying to tell you how to build muscle and they ain't got them, and they don't even really work out, they might go to the, just because somebody goes to the gym. And this was my biggest mistake when I first started lifting. Well, when I first started even trying to build muscle, somebody told me some stuff and I believed him and he lied. Well, I ain't gonna say he lied because a lie is to intentionally tell you the wrong thing. He told me the wrong thing from the lack of knowledge, but he had the confidence. This is a lot of people do. They'll tell you something and it sounds good because they got confidence and you might have a few things that make them seem like they might know. Like for instance, well, my situation, um, somebody told me, you know, you gotta eat really big and then, get really fat and then you start lifting weights and the fat are turning the muscle i got a video called fat turn the muscle muscle turn the fat and i tell you my opinion or what oh, not even an opinion it's facts the way i said it is facts but the way he said it was you start lifting weights and all the fat are turning the muscle and i believed i had to put that ed at the end because a lot of people when i tell this story they think that's what i think you really think that no i used to think it because this guy told me and i had to learn later throughout experience after actually doing things all right you got to actually do these things to find out if it's true or not even if it's coming from me i'm shooting myself in the foot with that one but that's how real i am if, even if it's coming from me you need to find out for yourself all right how would you know? Because I sound good? Because I'm on YouTube? Because I'm on a camera? A lot of people look at these guys. They got 5 million subs and all that. They lying. Yo, they got they subs because they lying to you, dog. I don't care what nobody say, man. Dog, that, that abs in two weeks. I always talk about that. I cannot get over it. And that ain't even the one, but that was the main one that stands out. But uh, that ain't even the only one. There's so many of them. They play on the fact that you're a beginner. 
They play on the fact that you're a beginner. The fact that you don't have the knowledge yet. That's not that's not insulting your intelligence. That's just saying that if I started something new right now, if I go to a job I've never done that type of if I became a zoologist, I studied animals my whole life, but I ain't never dealt with wild animals like that. I I watched from afar. But if I became a zoo zookeeper, right? I said a zoologist. That ain't what that is. A zoo. Let's say I started working at the zoo, right? And I had to work with these animals I never dealt with before, orangutans and all that. I'm gonna have to learn. I'm a beginner. I'm not stupid because I don't know how to deal with an orangutan. It's just I never dealt with one. I'm gonna have to learn. Uh, huh? In my preaching, yeah. So. Same thing with fitness or anything else. There's a lot to it. There's it's not as it's not as simple as people that think it's simple. It's not as simple as you would think if you think it's super simple. But it's not also it's not as complicated as people that think it's impossible. It's it's somewhere in the middle. But to figure it out, you're gonna have to do it. Don't just watch a video. Oh, I'm satisfied because I heard somebody say it. now I can regurgitate and say it and act like I made it up. You can do that. <laughs> Nah, but nah, man. If you like my stuff, tell people about it, man. But um, comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. That's all I want to say. Oh, did I just not even talk about uh, the protein? You got to eat protein. Okay. It's like you got Legos. You're trying to build a Lego house. And let's say the proteins and amino acids and all that are the building blocks. Those are the Legos, right? So you want to build a Lego house. And you literally, you got your plan. Mm. You got your area in the house that you want to, you got a clean area. You want to build this big Lego house. You got enough room to build it. You got the plan exactly of how you want to build it and everything. Okay. That, that's your hormones that you're building from your, your, your fasting, you know? So, <laughs> and I'm doing like this cause I'm, I'm mocking fasting, even though I say it's okay, whatever. I have to do that. It's just in me. Right. So. But you don't have the building blocks. You don't have the, you literally don't have the Legos. You got all of it. You got everything else, but you don't have the Legos. You can't build the Legos. Now, yes, the protein that you ate before your fast and the protein that you ate after your fast is still going to help you build some muscle. But I feel like, and I really am my truly in my hearts of hearts, if you ate a little bit of protein throughout the day, you build more muscle. That's just what I think. And I'm living proof. I built more muscle after I start I stopped fasting. I actually lost more fat after I stopped fasting than when I was fasting. Y'all can look at all my physique updates. I'm not just trying to get people to watch my videos, but look at my physique updates from back then and look at the ones more recent.